Paula Busher, uh, Southern Illinois, Edwardsville. Perfect. Tell us about your general class about the upcoming season. Well, in general, the upcoming season, I just it's it's such an exciting time of the year, and I think our program is continuing to grow and continuing to be in a better place. And I'm just really excited about the players and their competitive level so far. Well, it's a little bit of a repeat. What I really like the most of it, they're, they're a great group of young people. We've got a lot of diversity in all sorts of facets, but they work so hard together. And I think what I like so far is that on the court, they're extremely competitive. They go at each other. We play, you know, we, I'm, pretty tough on them in practice, and I think they're really responding to that. And I love how they go at each other and their competitiveness. The second someone's on the ground, they pick them up, and they walk off the court, and they're laughing and giggling, and they're back to college students again. On the opposite side of that, what about a big challenge for you from this one? I think the biggest challenge is to stay healthy. You know, last season, we had a lot of different injuries throughout the season and kind of got hit in the late part of conference season with some pretty serious injuries to some of our top players. And I think really just the staying healthy throughout the season is going to be really important this year. Okay. And what do you think about the OVC overall this year? I think the OVC is going to be as tough as it ever has been. You know, I, I think it's wide open. Um, obviously, you've got a couple schools ranked there in the top that kind of have the, you know, bullseye on their back. But at the same time, I think from top to bottom, it's probably as competitive and as consistent as you'll see I think in seasons past and this year, I think it's up for grabs. I really do. I think any team that can be consistent throughout the year and take it a day at a time is going to be in the hunt late in the year. Okay. And lastly, just talking about your non-conference schedule this year. Uh, non-conference schedule is I'm, I'm one of those people that will play anybody, any place, any time. And it's kind of, you see that in our schedule. Um, we're starting off with K-State this year. And then we, we have three home games in November. December, I have one home game. So we are on the road. We're going to be, you know, road warriors. We're going to have to make sure that we maintain our focus throughout that time and don't get too caught up in the, in the ups and downs of non-conference season. But um, I think by the time conference rolls around, we'll be ready for whatever comes at us.